Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jack TV, and I'm here with Mr. Kitty. How are you doing today? Doing good, thanks. You were just fantastic. Like, honestly, that's probably the best performance I've seen this year. Thank you so much. Amazing. I appreciate it. <laughs> spectacular you could play most of your new material and it just be amazing yeah I mean I never really think about like what anybody else wants to hear like, I kind of just put together a set list and whatever I play that's what I play because that's what I'm feeling like but at the end of my set I usually put like older songs so not necessarily I don't know if anybody wants to really hear them but I mean I think they're like fun <laughs> hey you played some good classic songs too of course <laughs> yeah it's it's just always like really hard because I have so much music like to pick songs that I'm like okay I don't because I basically just base it off like my Spotify plays and like YouTube and all that whatever is like at the top I'm like okay well that's what's getting played so <laughs> now you've been doing this for a while now how did it start how did the project start um, I started on my computer like my friend showed me that you can make music on computers and that's like the first time I encountered. Uh, FL Studio, but it was like FL Studio 2, so it was just really archaic and had like a sequencer and like wasn't anything crazy. But I was like, cool, you can make synthetic music on a computer. So I just kept like fucking around with it till I came up with something good, and then I was like, I finally updated it, and then I this whole world just opened up because there were so many new things, and I was like, so many versions behind. And, um, yeah, I just put my music on MySpace with like a cat picture. I didn't say where I was from because my parents were really weird about like putting like personal info like that online. So I was just like, I was just kind of like a cat from Japan for a while. So <laughs> that's all. Awesome. Nobody knew who I was, but I was like making like drum and bass and like breakcore and IDM and all this weird music because like Venetian Snares was like my biggest influence for like making computer music. So I kind of just emulated that for a while. That's cool. And then that from 2005 to 2009 was all breakcore, and then 2010 to now is like synth pop and like dance music and stuff like that. That's cool. Now, um, I was gonna say, how's the current tour going? The tour is going pretty well. Um, the first part was actually good because we like booked everything like super like like early and like way in advance. This one's kind of like it's a, it's a hit and miss with a couple of shows. This was definitely one of the bigger ones. Um, Primarily because like we just did it all last minute. And, like it's cool to like have people show up to a show that like actually care and aren't just like I'm here to hear one song. Like you know, we have people like I'll post something and they'll be like, oh, we came like last minute because you just posted about it. And I'm like, okay. Like, Everyone here is into it tonight. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think it's because like I didn't play New York, so people came from New York to like see it, I guess. But hopefully, I can like do a bigger tour, maybe. Definitely. You got a bunch of people who are like, I'll come see him anytime, <laughs> so that's all. Awesome. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do stuff and then I like disappear for a while and then I'm like, uh, okay, I'm gonna tour again. You, know, you so. must be constantly working on music if you could put out an album with 30 songs. I mean, that's yeah, I mean, I I haven't been working on stuff like lately because you know, tour stuff, but um, I have been like putting tracks together for like side projects and then. Um, just like whatever, like just writing stuff down as it comes to me. But um, yeah, the 30 tracks plus like the 15 uh, B sides. That'll eventually, hopefully, see the light. Yeah, I, I'm either gonna do it as like a third disc or just do like singles and then put the tracks. You know, something like that. So was it hard to pick what songs to put out for the, the album? Or? Yeah, definitely. Like, it, there's just so many things that. I like have to like factor into like is it all gonna sound the same all the way through or is it gonna be a variety of sounds and still consistent? It's just like <laughs> curating all of these like curating all these tracks together on a playlist. You know, it's um it's challenging, but I always want to make sure that it's like good. I guess. <laughs> cool, cool. So now people want to find you online, look you up. How do they do that? Um, you can look me up on Bandcamp at m r k i t t y d m dot bandcamp.com or uh, you can do the other one at mrkittynggp.bandcamp.com cool so all um, over social media yeah and from there you can find all the like social media links to like my twitter instagram youtube and all that um, my 
like on the side of the page, I think. But yeah, anywhere else, it's just at M R K I T T Y D M. Or if you want to look me up on like Spotify, it's M R dot K I T T Y. I just want one good no space. And uh, your name, Mr. Kitty. How did you get that? Kitty. Mr. Kitty came from a book that I had um, when I was like in middle school. This girl made clothes for her cats. And uh, I found this one where it looked sophisticated because it had a bow tie and a hat. And uh, I just went with that. And that was like my profile picture for like the longest time. Just because I was like, oh, I need a project name. And then I I didn't think about the, the long-term effects of having like a goofy name like that. But it just came to a point where I was like, okay, this is cool. Bye. <laughs> um, but it was also the name of like the first computer virus that I generated, <laughs> saying it phonetically as Mitsudakizi, which is Japanese. But yeah, I was developing like software, and I was trying to figure out how to make computer viruses, and I was trying to like crack software, you know, just like being a weird kid in middle school, like knowing how to program computers. Because I've, I've been surrounded by this all my life. Like, it's important nowadays, yeah. Yeah. And like on my. My stepdad's side, um, he worked for my my dad's dad worked for IBM, so he was it was like a startup like when it first came out. But I have always been around computers because they would like send computers to our house, like test drive and see if I would wreck them and whatever. But <laughs> yeah, I've always been around computers, so it's good that I have all the knowledge of like programming and just knowing how to use a computer because I can't stand using my phone for anything. Right. <laughs> Cool, cool. It was good talking and having everyone. Look him up. Thank you so much.